Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So I wanted to be able to show people, uh, I get a lot of questions about converting uh, to Windows 11. And I ran into some problems with that. And the whole reason is because I wasn't in UEF live mode. I could not go to secure boot mode UEFI. Went to the BIOS, didn't matter what I did, nothing happened. But this will help you solve that problem and it's a common error that can happen. So if you want to know if you're in legacy mode and how to convert to UEFI, watch this video. It's going to help you out. But there's a whole lot of other information here as well. Uh, what to do to get ready for Windows 11. And when you're not ready, because Secure Boot won't work, what you got to do next. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to be converting our system from legacy to UEFI. Now, I've never done this before. I've actually meant to check it out many times. When you first put in your uh, NVMe drive, hard drive, whatever it happens to be, there's a place to check to make sure you use Uf UEFI. If you happen to make a mistake like I did, there's a way to fix it. So first, you want to make sure you're using Windows 10 with version 1703 or higher. If you're not sure, just push Windows R, so the Windows plus the R key, type in Winver, so W-I-N-V-E-R, and press Enter. The second line, you should see the version number. So if it's 1703 or higher, you're good to go. So then you want to check and make sure that you only have three partitions. So you can see in here, I have System Reserve, C Drive, and Healthy Recovery. This is incorrect. This is how I already know I'm on Legacy. But let's double check that. So I went in here, right click, okay, went on properties. This is my drive. So go down here, click on properties. It's going to open up, go to volumes, and click populate. And when you're looking at this, if your partition style says master boot record, you're in Legacy mode. All right. On the other hand, if you're in GPT or GUID partition table, then you're likely in UEFI. Okay. So that's the first step. So what's the next step? Now we want to convert it and we want to switch this over and get it to work in UEFI. We've already gone into the BIOS. That didn't work because it's where it should be. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, something I want to say first is there shouldn't be any data loss or anything like that in converting from legacy BIOS to UEFI. But just in case, make sure that you have backed up your system before you convert from legacy to UEFI. Because I'm not going to be responsible if you've got data and you wind up losing it. So keep that in mind. So the next step is pretty simple. I've done a video on it, actually, how to get quickly to your BIOS. So if you don't understand what I'm doing here, look that video up. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the system. First, I'm going to hold down the left shift key. Click on this. So you start button. Click on your power. And I'm going to go restart. Hold that button until you see it coming up. Okay. Once you get to this part, you're going to click on Troubleshoot. Advanced Options. But where you normally would see UEFI, this is where things change. Okay? So now we're going to just go Command Prompt. Okay, system's going to restart. Okay, so MBR2 GPT space slash validate and hit enter okay so it's telling you attempting to validate disk zero retrieving the layout of the disk validating layout disk sector size validation completed successfully okay that's the first step now keep in mind if you see any error messages at this point, your disk or your system may not meet the conversion requirements. Okay, so far, 
we're, we're good in this example, yours, you may not be. So just keep that in mind. Now there's another thing you can try. You can type in MBR2 GPT space backslash validate, same as we did before, but then add a space backslash allow full, A-L-L-O-W, capital F, small U-L, all lowercase otherwise, okay? But we don't need to do that, so we're going right on to the next step. So we're going to type in MBR2 GPT space, and then the slash again, and convert. So that's it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it says we now attempt to convert the default boot disk. If the conversion is successful, the disk can only be booted in GPT mode. You just the changes can't be undone. All right, and it is saying failed to update. Please try to manual disable enable Win RE. Before the new system can boot properly, you need to switch the firmware to boot to UEFI model. So this is where we will probably need to go into um, our BIOS now and change that. So at this point, we're going to exit out. So EXIT, enter, and we're going to turn off the PC, and we're going to restart. And then you're going to have to hit your key to go into your BIOS. So keep that in mind. That's what you're going to need to do next. So restarting, in my case, it's going to be the delete key. Okay, so right now I'm hitting the delete key. That's going to take me into my BIOS. Now, this is where you want to go in and launch your motherboard firmware settings uh, screen and change it from legacy to UEFI in the BIOS. In my BIOS, is, now this is the ASUS B450F gaming motherboard, the original, not the two version. So you go into your boot menu over here. Okay, so you click that. Go down where it says secure boot. Uh, right now it says other OS. You're going to click on that. And you're going to go Windows UEFI mode. Click on there. And now you're going to exit and save. So exit, save changes, and reset. And it's telling you what you're doing. So click OK. Okay, so I'm back in Windows 10. All my icons, everything are still there. Everything's the same. But now let's verify if we are actually in UEFI mode. Okay, that's what we want to look for. So, quick way would be to go in and check the PC health check again and see what that says. But let's do it the other way again. So, okay, to verify if we're in UEFI mode and if we've converted, go back into your disk management. Click on here. A computer management, so you're going to click on manage. Go down here, and now you can see there's four partitions. Okay, so that tells me right there we're in UEFI mode. How do I verify that? Right click on here, click on properties, click on the uh, hardware tab, go to properties, go to volume, populate it again. And now you can see we've switched from partition style, GUID partition type, and now we're in UFI mode. So let's verify. Can we now be ready for Windows 11? Let's find out. Okay, so we're back in the PC health check. And we're going to go check now. And if everything is right, we're going to see it's ready. And there you go. This PC meets Windows 11 requirements. Okay, so you can see all results. You can see now we're in PC support, supports secure boot now. And your TPM 2.0 is enabled on this PC. And you're meeting all the other system requirements. All right, everybody. So that was the one thing I wanted to make sure to show you. I did a video earlier, quite a bit ago, on how to quickly get into your BIOS. But then people would say, well, my UEFI doesn't show up. What else can I do? I had other options. But with Windows 11, it made me realize there was a mistake made. So if you've made that same mistake, this is how you can fix it. Convert from legacy 
to UEFI, you also have to go into the BIOS, which I've showed everything in the video from start to finish to get you ready for Windows 11. And or if you just want it back to UEFI mode. All right. Make sure you back everything up first, although you should not lose data, but don't take that chance. That's on you if you do. So if you like the video, hit that like. If you don't, well, you know what to do. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought. Did you like it? Did it help you out? Whatever. If you have any comments, leave them down below. If you're new here, think about hitting that join button to support the channel. And think about subscribing. And hit that bell for future notifications as videos come up. And I'll get back to you if you leave me a comment. If not, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Hope I helped you out. Bye for now.